All right, we have the problem negative five and two fifths plus three and a half. Now we should notice that our first term has a larger absolute value because it is further away from zero. That means that our answer is going to result in a negative. Remember, whenever you are combining two terms and one of them is negative and one of them is positive, the sign that you use is determined by which of the two terms has a larger absolute value or is further away from zero. And when the two signs are different, a positive and a negative, you have to subtract the absolute values. All right, so let us go ahead and find a common denominator first. So we're going to take these two denominators here, which are a five and a two, and change them to the lowest common denominator of 10. All right, because we doubled the five, we doubled the two, and that is going to give us a four. And of course, we have to write five on the top of 10 because five is half a 10. And then we just slide down our negative five here and our plus three here. All right, next, what we're going to do is convert each one of these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we're going to keep our denominators the same. And then we just multiply 10 and 5. That's going to be 50 plus 4 more is 54. So when converting this mixed number, we get negative 54 tenths. And for this mixed number, we multiply 10 times 3, which is 30, plus 5 more is 35. So that converts to be positive 35 tenths. All right, now once again, our signs are different, which means we find the difference. So we take 54 and 35 and subtract, which is 19. The denominator stays the same. And because we had a larger absolute value with the first term, which is negative, we have to use negative for the answer. Now we can convert this into a mixed number, and that would be equal to negative 1 and 9 tenths, which is our final solution.